Hello guys. Today I will test a little bit the uh, Magnum because I've heard some rumors and I've seen that the snap loader and the single-handedly loaded ammo on the shotgun has some damage differences. So I was wondering if there's the same case with the Magnum. But for the first test, I actually want to try if it's possible to kill two people with the same bullet. So let's have a look. As you can see, both targets are pretty, my, pretty much lined up perfectly. Only one dead person. Second one looks good to go. Okay, so let's go into the test. Speed loader versus no speed loader. I have five clones for each test. Let's have a look. I will shoot at 10 meters distance, or let's say around 20 meters. I will not aim for the head. I want to try to hit in the chest because the headshot should always be lethal with the Magnum. So let's go for a chest hit. right in the chest and it was lethal. So let's go a little bit more to the back. This one actually only hit the shoulder and it was still lethal. Even if I heard like a ricochet sound from the grass over here, I still managed to kill the target, so that's a good sign. So by the looks of it, uh, regular pistol distance, it's possible to kill with a single shot in the chest. Let's up this by a notch and try to snipe a little bit with our magnum. Okay, as you can see, the bullet went way over his head. But that's no problem, we should have enough ammo on us. Once again, over his head. And you can see, I got a pristine magnum, pristine rounds, so the weapon should be as accurate as possible at the moment. And still, probably not the best weapon to shoot on long range with. This one hit him somewhere between the hip and the shoulders and was a lethal shot. So when you're between 1 and 50 meters I would definitely say aim for the stomach because there seems to be a little bit of a bullet spread and hitting the upper body is enough to kill. So let's see if I can manage to shoot him in the foot and see if even this one would be lethal. That's something quite weird. As you've seen, I maybe shot him like two or three toes off, but he's dead by now. So this is something that shouldn't be there. Even if the impact does enough damage, it feels like there's no difference between the chest and the foot at the moment. So don't really like this. 
because I would rather like it if you had the ability to shoot someone in the foot and even break his leg with it or something like this so you can just cripple somebody and change his mobility with this but instantly kill someone even if I was at close range one shot in the foot shouldn't be lethal so let's see if it's the same case with a speed loader <coughs> as you can see pristine speed loader loaded with pristine ammunition our first test again right in the chest lethal Okay, this one actually went up in the head, and as you can imagine, a headshot is deadly. Hit in the shoulder, still deadly. Let's see if we can manage to get a long range shot with this one. As you've seen previously, not as accurate on this distance. So the Magnum might be a nice backup weapon for close range or for a starter item. But as you can see, <laughs> even on this range on a still standing target, it's kind of messed up how hard it is to hit. So for the next shot I will sit down. Still. Not accurate enough. This gets kind of disturbing. Finally I hit, and it was lethal. Let's see if there's a difference between the speed loader and the regular loaded ammunition when you want to shoot somebody in the foot. Nope. Still the same outcome. So as you have seen, from 20 to 30 meters, the Magnum is an easy one shot and should hit most of the time pretty accurate as long as your weapon is pristine and everything. But for longer range shots, I wouldn't even try it because it just gives away your position by the loud noise the Magnum makes. And the chances that you're actually hitting where you're aiming at is quite low. 
But for everything below this, you only need one lucky hit, as you've seen. You don't even have to aim for the head. This would be actually a waste of ammunition if you aim for the head and miss it. I would always aim for the upper body. It's the biggest part of the body and if there is no difference between the head and the foot, go for the biggest part of the body. Increases your chances of actually killing somebody. And as you've seen, there wasn't any difference on the damage on the Magnum on the speed loader. There might be some differences in the damage, but even with a speed loader, it's enough that one bullet can kill the target. And as long as they don't nerf the damage from the Magnum or up the HP from the player, why not use a speed loader? It's just for convenience that you can reload faster. So. It's not like the shotgun, in case of the Magnum, I would definitely prefer to have one or two speed loaders on me all the time. Have a nice day, thank you for watching.